Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Today's video is a heater control valve on the Beamer X535D. Uh, having some heat issues in the car or uh, SUV or whatever, but uh, check the forums to see if some of the remedies to fix it are uh, heater control valve, thermostat, and uh, blower resistor. So I'm going to be doing all three of those. Those will be different videos too, though. So uh, we'll get into this one. If you can get these, these are coolant hose clamps, relatively cheap on Amazon. Get them, they're the, probably one of the best things you can get for replacing coolant stuff. This is your heater control valve. I bought this off of Rock Auto, that's the SKU for it. I think it was like 45 bucks or something like that. These at uh, BM, uh, BMW are two, three hundred bucks, so uh, Rock Auto is always a good choice. So uh, your heater control valve is down in the bottom underneath that hose there. There's three hose clamps on each one of them. Obviously, there's three hoses going into here, so we're going to take those off. I'll uh, put the coolant hose clamps on first, and I'll show you what I do. Okay, you got the hose clamp on there, and needle nose pliers down on the bottom one there, and then there's a hose that's at the very bottom there. I'm gonna try and put a clamp or something on it so it doesn't leak. So we'll try that now. All right, guys, got her out. There's a little clip here. That's the electronic part of it. So that, you just push down. I just undid the hoses first and then took the connection out, make it a little easier, but. You just push down there, pops right out. So this is the old one. Looks like it's the original one. So this this uh, 35D has uh, 230,000 K on it. So we're gonna replace it with this one. So basically it's the same process. You put the bottom hose in first, tighten her down. Then this top, this one here, then the other one, and then just plug your clip in. So we'll do that now. Okay, got her back in there. As you can see, new one there. Snug the hoses down. You don't have to go reefing on them. You don't wanna rip a hose or anything like that. But with the electrical connection, I usually put some of this stuff on dielectric grease so uh, your connection is sealed won't get any water in on it so uh, it's just a tip I do you don't have to do that but uh, this is your heater control valve replacement on your BMW 2009 BMW X535 D uh, if you like the video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't yet and uh, I got a couple more uh, heater uh, remedies for this thing so uh, stay tuned for that and uh, catch you in the next one